Hi, I'm Mudinda and I'm here to help you understand maths better for free. Grade 11s and 12s, today we're going to be talking about trig equations. A lot of you know this topic as general solutions, but general solutions is actually just part of it. Back in grade 10, it was easy to solve a trig equation. If I told you that sine theta is equal to a half, you'd say, well, theta is just sine inverse of a half which means theta is 30 degrees. But in grade 11, we learn that an angle can be represented in many different ways. We learn this in reduction formula, where, for example, we said, if you're standing at a point like this dot here, and you added 360 degrees, you'd be back to the right, to the very same point. And so we said, that's why the sine of 30 is a half, and the sine of 390 is also a half, because 30 plus 360 is 390, and that represents the very same angle on the Cartesian plane. So it's not enough to say that theta is just sine inverse of a half, and therefore theta is 30. It could be 390, or if you add 360 again, that could also be a potential solution. Now, we need a way to represent all the solutions. Or, we need a way to restrict ourselves to only specific solutions that we're interested in. And that's why the way we approach trig equations changes a little bit. But worry not, I've given you some steps to remember how to do it. Now, the very first thing I want us to learn is how to solve a trig equation for theta being between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. The steps are as follows. They might not make sense when I read them out the first time, but they definitely will make sense when we look at an example. The very first thing you want to do is to determine the reference angle. And here I've noted that you must always use the positive version. I'll show you what I mean. The second step is to look for whether where sine, cos, or tan is positive or negative, and this depends on the question. Then lastly, you work out the solutions. Let's take an example. Imagine you were asked to solve for theta, given that the sine of theta is equal to 0, 0,3, for theta being between 0 and 360. You'd start off by finding your reference angle. Your reference angle is, as you did in grade 10, just sine inverse of this 0, 0,3 here. Now, if you put sine inverse of 0, 0,3 in your calculator, you should get 17,46 degrees. Now, I said in the first step that you must always use the positive version. What I mean by this is, even if we were asked sine theta is equal to negative 0, 0,3, when finding the reference angle, you would still put sine of positive 0, 0,3. The next step is to look for where the trig ratio is either positive or negative. This depends on the question. In our, in our question, the trig ratio is sine. So we're going to draw a little Cartesian plane, and we're going to look for where sine is positive, since this is positive. Remember, from our cast diagram, we know that sine is positive here, where all of them are positive, and here, where sine is positive. If you understand reduction formula, you should remember this. But if you don't understand reduction formula, I have a video up on reduction formula where you can learn everything you need to know about reduction formula. So give it a watch. But we know that sine would be positive here and there. The last step is to work out the solutions. Whenever the first quadrant is one of your solutions, that means the reference angle is one of your answers. So the very first answer for theta is that theta is equal to the reference angle, 17,46 degrees. The second solution is that theta is equal to 180 minus the reference angle. This is because we nicknamed this quadrant 180 minus theta. Remember we said this one is 180 plus theta and this one is 360 minus theta. We learned this in reduction formula. Now, this means the other answer for theta, according to my calculator, is 162,54 degrees. And these are the two answers that you get for theta. 
What about if you were asked to solve for theta, given that cos of theta is equal to negative 0, 0,5? Well, as usual, we'd start by finding our reference angle, which would be cos inverse of 0, 0,5. We wouldn't include the negative when finding the reference angle. Now, according to my calculator, cos inverse of 0, 0,5 is 60 degrees. The second step is to find where the trig ratio is either positive or negative. In our case, we're looking for where cos is negative. We'll draw a little Cartesian plane, label it appropriately, it's a cast diagram. This is 180 minus theta, this is 180 plus theta, and this is 360 minus theta. Now, since we're looking for where cos is negative, where is cos negative? That would be here and here. Because here all of them are positive and here cos is positive. We're interested in where cos is negative. That's here and there. That said, the reference angle is not one of our solutions. Like I said in the previous question, the reference angle is only one of your solutions if you're interested in the first quadrant. In our case, theta is equal to 180 minus the reference angle or theta is equal to 180 plus the reference angle and so our solutions are 240 degrees sorry this is 180 minus so 120 degrees or 240 degrees now what if we were asked for cos 2 theta is equal to 0, 0.67 instead of just theta. What you should not do is divide by 2. This is because this 2 theta is in the angle. So instead, we're going to firstly treat it as normal by finding the reference angle to be cos inverse of 0, 0.67. Now, if you put 0, cos inverse of 0, 0.67 in your calculator, you should get 47.93. Great. That's the reference angle. We're looking for where cos is positive. Cos will be positive here and there. Now, this is where it's different. When I'm writing the two solutions, I'll say 2 theta is equal to. So the reference angle is one of our solutions, 47,93 degrees. Or where 2 theta is equal to 360 minus 47,93 degrees, okay? Then you can start the dividing by 2 on both sides. Now, 47,93 divided by 2, according to my calculator, is 23.97 degrees. Now, 360 minus 47,93 is 312,07. When I divide this by 2 on both sides, I get that theta is equal to 156,04 degrees. So if you see that the 2 theta is in the angle, don't divide by 2 immediately. Find your reference angle. Find where it's positive. That's if this is positive. Otherwise, find where it's negative. Then when you write out your solution, write 2 theta, and only then can you divide by 2. On the other hand, if you're told 2 sine beta is equal to 1, see, now that is not in the angle. We can now divide this by 2. So we have 2 sine beta is equal to 1. We divide both sides by 2 immediately, only when it's right before the sine beta. We therefore get that sine beta is equal to a half. Then we find our reference angle, sine inverse of a half. Let me actually change this question and put a minus 1 on this side. So, sine inverse of a half is 30 degrees, we know. But this time, we're looking for where sine is positive. I mean negative. Sine is negative here and there. So, the reference angle is not one of our solutions. It's only 180 plus the reference angle or 360 minus the reference angle. Those are our solutions. So the solutions are 210 as well as 330.
great. I just want to make a note on tan. When you have tan, only find the first solution. There's no two solutions for tan, only one solution. We won't get into why that's the case. Here's an example. Find the reference angle to be tan inverse of 5. Now, if you put tan inverse of 5 in your calculator, you should get 78,69 degrees. But since we're looking for where tan is positive, that will be here as well as there. But we will only go with here. We'll say alpha is equal to 78,69 degrees. You don't go with the second solution. Great. You now know how to solve a general solution for the range 0 degrees to 360. We're going to talk about general solutions now. To find the general solution, follow the exact same steps we've been following. Except, in the end, when you find your solution, you must add the period times k. We know that the period of a sine and a cos graph is 360 degrees. The period of a tan graph is 180 degrees. I will upload a video where we'll talk about the trig graphs. Okay, but for now, that's all you need to know for this topic is that the period of a sine and a cos graph is 360, the tangent of, uh, the period of a tan graph is 180. Now, same steps, except as soon as we write out the solutions, we must add the period times k. And when we talk about specific solutions a bit later, we'll explain why we do this. But here's an example. Determine the general solution if the cos of theta plus 3 over 4 is equal to 0. Well, first, let's fix this by moving the plus 3 over 4 to the other side and getting negative 3 over 4. We'll then find our reference angle as cos inverse of positive 3 over 4. Remember, when finding the reference angle, we always take the positive version. So the reference angle is 41,41 degrees. This negative comes to play now when we're looking for where cos is now negative. We're looking for where cos is negative. Here's our cost diagram. So cos is negative here as well as there. This means that theta is either 180 minus the reference angle but because we're looking for the general solution, we're going to add 360 times k. Or theta is equal to 180 plus 41,41 degrees plus 360 times k. Now 180 minus 41,41 would be 138,59 degrees. 180 plus 41,41 would be 221,41 degrees. So no difference, you just add the period times k. Let's look at another example. Here we have the cos of alpha plus 25 degrees is equal to 0, 0,231. Now remember grade 11s and metric 11s, you don't want to you know, move this 25 to the other side because it's in the angle, you can't do that. It's much like when we had the cos of 2 theta was equal to something. Where's that example? Here, we had the cos of 2 theta is equal to something. We didn't divide by 2. We worked as normal, and only when we started talking about the solution of the angle did we divide by 2. In the same way here, I can't immediately subtract this 25 degrees. It's part of the angle. First, I'll find my reference angle, which will just be cos inverse of 0, 0,231. Now, according to my calculator, cos inverse of 0, 0,231 gives me 76,64 degrees. We're looking for where cos is positive. That is here and there. So the reference angle is one of our solutions. But remember, instead of just theta, I have here alpha plus 25 degrees. So alpha plus 25 is equal to the reference angle, 76,64, plus 360 times k. Or, alpha plus 25 
is equal to 360 minus the reference angle plus 360 degrees K. Okay, so alpha is equal to now 76,64. When I subtract 25 from it, I get 51,64 degrees plus 360 times K. Now, 360 minus 76,64, and I'm going to go ahead and subtract 25 as well. This is giving me 258,36 degrees plus 360K. And then that will be our solution. This is what we call a general solution. We're following the same steps as before, except we're now adding 360 times K. Here's one more. Determine the general solution if 2 tan beta is equal to negative 2. Uh, 0.68. So first I'm going to divide both sides here by 2, like we said. If it's outside of the angle, we're allowed to do that. So the tangent of beta is now equal to, now, negative 2,68 divided by 2 is negative 1,34. The reference angle is tan inverse of the positive version of that, 1,34. Tan inverse of 1,34. This gives me 53,27 degrees. We're looking for where tan is positive. No, I'm wrong. We're looking for where tan is negative. Tan is equal to negative 1,34. Now, tan is negative here and there. But hold on. We'll only go for this first one. So, beta is equal to 53,27 degrees plus 180 times k. Remember, we always go for the first one with tan. We don't go for the second one. I'm sure you're curious, and like I said, we're not actually going to get into it on this video, but commit that to memory. What if you were given something like this, that the 5 cos theta is equal to tan 300? It might look daunting, um, and you can pause the video and try it out first, but remember that tan 300 is something you can just put in your calculator. Put it in your calculator, what do you get? Tan 300 should give you negative root 3. And I'll divide both sides here by 5. So we have cos theta is equal to negative root 3 over 5. Well, I don't know what I'm writing. Negative root 3 over 5. Now the reference angle will be cos inverse of root 3 over 5, the positive version. Okay? Plus inverse of root 3 over 5. According to my calculator, that should give us 69,73 degrees. That's a reference angle, and we're looking for where tan is positive. And so, again, we're just going to go with this one, right? We don't take the second. Oh, sorry, this is cos, not tan. We're looking for where cos is positive. That's here and there. So that means the reference angle is one of the solutions. 69,73 degrees plus 360K. Or 360, 360 minus 69,73 degrees plus 360 times K. Okay. Okay, now 360 minus uh, 69.73 is giving me 290 degrees, comma, 200, 290,27 degrees plus 360. Okay. All right. So this is how you find the general solution. In our next video, we'll be looking at what happens when you have two different trig ratios and how to deal with that?